Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, back again with some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got a whole bunch of moons here in Tostarena that we can get without doing the story. Now we're going to try to do the story. <laughs> so basically the problem we have is that we have to climb this tower, which is in the center of the ruins. Well, I mean, it's actually sort of on the edge of the ruins, if you look at the map. But we have to climb that tower over there, that round one, which the light's coming out of, to reach the first story moon. Uh, and that story moon happens to be... Well, I mean, it's story moon. It's absolutely necessary to access most of the story stuff. Well, I mean, all of the story stuff. There's a whole bunch of minor moons that are locked off until you've done the story, though. So we haven't been able to get a whole bunch of minor moons here. We've gotten enough to advance, obviously, because we have completed the story of the game. But to complete the story here, we have to somehow get to the top of that tower. Uh, first we have to get through this obstacle, which we did earlier. Um, it's not too tricky. Basically the problem is you can't enter this pipe. Um, because you just, you just do that straight away. Uh, so we can't reach those three purple points. However, that's not a problem because we can just do that to get up here. Uh, that's obviously meant to be skippable. So, not a problem. The hard part is that when we come up here, we reach this tower, which is entirely encased in ice. If the tower were not entirely encased in ice, this would be very easy to climb, because you can see it has little ledges around the sides. But because of the ice, we can't actually stand on those ledges, um, which makes it much, much harder. And the intended way to get up is to go through this pipe and climb up that way. But it's very, 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 very impossible to do because we crouch like that. Uh, fortunately, there is another way up, but it's extremely hard. <laughs> Basically, um, you can see there's this icicle, this icicle here, um, and if you look up there, just, just on the like very right side of the tower there, you can see that there's just a ledge directly above where Mario is. I can't really move the camera more than this, but you can see that ledge there. We can get on top of that ledge if we do a very precise jump from the top of that icicle. However, it's extremely hard. <laughs> Basically, first we've got to get onto the icicle, which is itself quite hard. Even while, while not permanently crouching, it's quite tricky because it's not really designed to let you stand on this icicle. You know, it's made of ice, it's also a weird kind of shape. Then we basically have to do a backflip, a cap bounce to make our way around here, and then we have, to, we have to spin, wall kick off the wall, throw Cappy out, and dive onto the platform. But it's really hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this, you know, a decent amount of tries. Uh, and see if I can pull it off. The thing is, just getting up there to execute it at all is really tricky. Let alone actually doing the strat, which is, no time you do it, you try to do it, you fall down and have to get back up here again first. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, you start with a backflip, throw a cappy, oops, not like that. You have to throw a cappy, bounce off of her, and then you can do a spin while against that little piece of wall between the two ledges, where the moving platform just went, and you can wall kick off there to gain enough height to make your way up. <sighs> But it's super duper precise and really hard. Oh my goodness. Also, Mario's hands are just sort of poking through his sombrero. Because that's how sombreros work. This is this is a fact. I know this having worn a sombrero in my life at least once. It's like a cheap novelty one, not a real like quality sombrero, but you know, whatever. Oh my goodness. Oops. Yeah, one of the other problems is it's very easy to just roll down here and have to climb back up again. Thankfully, the process of climbing up is not hard in any way. Uh, this part is very, very easy to do. So it's not a huge deal, it's just a little annoying. The hard part is this skip here. <laughs> So, basically what you want to do is do a backflip while staying in place, which you do by tilting the stick to the right, like towards the wall as you backflip, 
Not too much, though. Ugh. Sort of like that. But then you have to throw Cappy out around the tower towards where that opening is so that you can bounce off of her. It's like that, only I did, didn't do it right. But you can see what the basic strat is. I'm just going to keep trying to do that for, I don't know, another maybe 10 minutes and see if I can pull it off. I, I have already spent like an hour trying to do this strat off camera. It's really, really hard. Uh, that sometimes happens, which is annoying. You bonk your head on the upper platform there, which means the bounce off of Cappy doesn't give you anywhere near as much hard as it should. And so, of course, you can't reach the top of the tower. Uh, there is also a moon inside this 2D section, so even if we manage to skip it, which is still a big question mark, as you can see, I'm having a lot of difficulty getting up. Oh, we're going to be able to get all the moons, or all the purple coins, because there are also some purple coins hidden in there. Uh, okay, a bit closer, I think. Uh, standing on this pipe gives you a little more height to start with, but I don't think it helps you much. Um, because you have to do a cap bounce to get up there anyway, so the height from the pipe doesn't really help. Because you're so close to where the, um, where the icicle is when you stand on the pipe. Okay. Ah, see, I hit my head on, this, on that ledge again. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a really, really hard and really, really precise strat. It's doable, but, I mean, I've seen a video of it being done, so I know it can be done. It's just really hard. That one was less high than the last decent attempt. I am a little tempted to adjust the rule set just so I can enter this pipe. Um... Obviously, I'd start crashing again as soon as I wasn't standing on it. So it would be just so it would technically be breaking the rules, but it would mean getting to a whole bunch more challenges that can be done while crashed. So I think it might be worth it. However, since I know it can theoretically be done without going through that pipe, I feel like it would be a little unfair of me to change the rules to let me go through that pipe. I just have to pull it off, which is really, really, really hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, for what it's, what it's worth, the fact that I'm crouching shouldn't make this strat any harder. Um, they used a backflip to get off that platform in the, in the video as well, so it's the same thing I'm doing. Uh, the fact that I'm holding down ZR and they probably weren't is, should not be affecting the, the run at all, so, yeah. So yeah, climbing up there, that's easy. It's just it's some, some really simple cap bounces. This part becomes tricky because, yeah, the platform, it's slippery ice. It's not really designed to be stood upon because it's... Well, it's not here for very long and you just intend to go into that pipe and do this the normal way. Uh, I'm gonna give this, I reckon, I might try for 15 minutes maybe, and then I might throw in the towel <laughs> and just let myself into this 2D section. Ugh, okay, so you can see what I'm trying to do, it's just, it's really, 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 really hard to pull that off. Um, yeah, and if you start sliding down the wall at the top there, it pushes you off the icicle for some reason, rather than letting you stand on it. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oops. Part of the problem with rolling in this game 
although it's very overpowered in most cases, uh, when you roll, you do a little hop at the beginning, and you can't get out of that hop until you touch the ground. Like, you can't do a jump and throw Cappy. Uh, you're just sort of stuck hopping for a second. And if you happen to be hopping near an edge, you can't really escape from the roll in any way. Although, except perhaps letting go of, of Crouch, but I can't do that. <laughs> See, if you've rolled for at least a little bit and you've landed on the ground again, you can do a long jump and throw Cappy and you can almost always recover yourself because long jumps don't have to actually go anywhere. Yeah, that one I wasn't close enough to the wall, so instead of doing just a spin against the wall, I just threw Cappy. And then I couldn't do a wall kick immediately because I wasn't close enough. I think what happens is the little spin gets you closer to the wall without losing too much height. If you like, get onto a wall, like, um, let me see if I can demonstrate that. See, so, like, doing the spin, it, it sort of suspends you in the air for a second, which I think helps you get closer to the wall. I don't really understand it too well. So some of the advanced strats here are a little baffling to me. Okay, so, here we go, here we go. Uh, yeah, I didn't get enough hype. Uh, I just, I don't see how you, how it, how it can be done. I mean, I've seen a video of it being done, so I know it can be done. It's just, good lord. Uh, if I'd done like a triple jump off of here, that would give them more height. But I have no idea whether that's possible because to get up there you have to do like a cap bounce, and so you couldn't chain or chain a double jump to get up there and then triple jump off of it. Uh, a backflip gives you a fairly similar amount of height anyway, so in theory it should be high enough. Plus that's what they did in the video, so it it, it should be completely possible. It's just really really hard to pull off. Okay, this video is 12 and a half minutes long already, and I haven't made any progress yet, so that's a bit annoying. Uh, basically, my plan for this video is get onto this tower, and that's it. So, <laughs> uh, I believe the rest of the story moons in Tostarina will be doable without too much hassle. Uh, there is another 2D section later, which is the inverted pyramid. But I believe we can do the inverted pyramid. Uh, the way the pipes are positioned makes it a le lot less impossible compared to this one. I believe you enter through a side pipe, for example, rather than a vertical pipe. And I believe there is a vertical pipe in part way through, but because of the way it's designed, it's possible to jump off. Basically because it's a scene transition rather than just a pipe. Uh, I don't know if that means you can jump off these pipes as well. Maybe I'll experiment a little bit. Hmm. <gasps> oh my goodness! You can! Okay, I did a little bit. Of, I did a little bit of pause buffering there, which is basically just going into capture mode to pause the game without like kicking you out, since since capture mode doesn't actually. Okay, so you can get into these 2D sections. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, that's a lot easier. <laughs> um, it's still kind of hard because of the way jumping around is required, but it's much much easier than trying to do that skip. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. If 2D sections can be entered, then that means the entire game should be possible like this. Every moon. That's actually really exciting. Okay, um... I reckon we're gonna do Toast Arena, and then we're gonna backtrack to Fossil Falls to get the couple, the other few moons we need to get from there, because there are two more that we thought were impossible because of the way this works. Uh, Hang on, there's a moon just here that we'd like to get. Yeah! Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so yeah, if you time a jump just right, you can actually jump off the pipe before Mario decides to go back into it. The timing is really weird. But it's completely possible to reach this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So because we can do that, we can enter every 2D section in the game. Which means we can get to everything in the game and complete every moon, all 880 of them. That's really exciting. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm not going to do Tostarina right now. Uh, I'm going to head back this way, actually. And I'm going to go back to the, the Odyssey and do the two moons in Fossil Falls we couldn't do. And then I'm going to call that a video because it's about 20 minutes. And I think a video of me trying to do an impossible strat and then realizing there's a much more possible strat is a good video. I, I, I honestly thought it was impossible. Like, I tried mashing the button at all these different times, but clearly I didn't have the timing quite right. I'm guessing it's like frame perfect or something like it. That hasn't grown yet from the previous video. We'll probably be getting that when we come back. Uh, for now, we're going to head back to Fossil Falls because we have two moons to get. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, yeah, basically if you time it just right, you can jump off the pipe before Mario goes into it. I was convinced you couldn't do that, but you can. And that means you can get into every 2D section, you can get every moon in the game. It's just going to be very, very, very hard to get some of them. In particular, all of the capitalist ones. Especially some of the endgame capitalist ones, those are really hard. Uh, but we'll be seeing that later. For the moment, we're going to go back to Fossil Falls and do something that I honestly thought was impossible, to get two more moons just here. I am astonished. Oh my gosh. Alright, so, yeah, we're just going to head this way, I reckon. Uh, the reason you slide down these poles is because I'm holding crouch. Normally you wouldn't do that. Uh, but if you're crouching, then you slide down poles that you're holding automatically and it's very annoying. Okay, so here. Alright, let's try to do this again, see if we can manage it. Yes! Okay, that's... Okay. What I'm doing is I'm listening to the sound of Mario coming up through the pipe. Um... Basically, hang on, I'll see if I can just demonstrate it. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, I'm jumping on the third pew, 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 and that's getting me out of the pipe in time. Which I did not know could be done. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are gonna get all of the moons. Oh wow, this is really exciting. Uh, okay, there's, there's a times challenge here, as you can see. Um, and the fact that we're really, really slow in this form might be a bit of an issue, but I think we can do this without too much trouble if we just get our jumps right. Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Let me go to that other Goomba first, just so there's less stuff to bother us. Oops. Uh, can collect this, we're hitting the blocks underneath, but... Once you've done that, some of the blocks break, so you can't do it again. Okay, so what we got to do here is just jump up. Whoa, I managed to uncrouch for a second. I don't know how I did that. Like, I wasn't pressing the uncrouch button or anything. Okay, that's doable. For first, let's just head around here and do this easy one. So this is the one you can get right at the beginning of the game before you've done multi moon top of falls. You're supposed to basically realize that there's a little side path here as you're climbing up and be like, Whoa, a 2D moon! Yeah! And that's how you get it. Behind the waterfall. Because if you look at the map here, it's map, it's, see, it's moon number four. It's very early in the list of moons you're expected to get. These two are the ones you can get before doing multi moon up the falls. God, I had no idea that you could do this. Uh, does holding dash make me go faster while I'm doing these little jumps? I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't seem to. Just 
tricky part is this bit, because you hit your head so much, you lose all your momentum. Oh, okay, that came closer. I I'm sure this is doable, it's just, it's just hard. Like a lot of things in this game. I think holding dash doesn't do anything, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, yeah, that's totally doable. Oh, I almost got it. Okay, yeah, something... You can occasionally interrupt the fact that you're crouching, but I don't know how I'm doing that. Like, I'm not letting go of the button or anything. That's just what's happening. Ah. It's about the same as last time. Okay, I need to... Yeah, you need basically perfect movement to pull this off. God. Uh, okay, if you actually fall off a ledge, you don't, like, crouch when you get down. See? Hmm. Maybe I can exploit that somehow. Yeah, so, yeah, if you jump down, you stay crouching, but if you fall down, you actually uncrouch momentarily. I don't think that gives me any more speed is the only thing. So... Oh, jeez. So, yeah, the, this, like most things, a timed mission is much harder than a non-timed mission. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This, this run makes timing timed missions very, very hard. We can't do things as quickly as normal. Oh gosh, um, this is completely doable. I can, I can tell this is doable. It's just really hard. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is actually going to be a 20-minute video, and I think that's probably okay. Okay, that was that was bad. I need like perfect movement to do this in like as few jumps as possible, basically. Oops. Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah, you just have to listen for the pew 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 noise as Murray's coming out and jump on the third pew. We're just after it. You know, one of those two. It's hard to describe exactly how I'm doing the timing, but it, it works. Ah! Oh, okay, I was two mo two notes short. Ah, oh, just need a little bit more. A little bit more speed. Oh no! Yeah, I'll have to reset. Yeah, th so yeah, the problem is normally you can run along the ground and this part is easy. Uh, I mean, this, this is one of the easiest note challenges in the game, so yeah. Damn it. <laughs> okay, uh, I suppose I have to reset. Way worse than before. I'm having trouble. <laughs> also, you can hear the 8-bit version of Fossil Falls theme here, which is pretty cool. I really like it. Uh, yeah. Uh, the trouble is, there's all these like little walls and stuff in the way as you're climbing up. It makes it really tricky. I am holding dash now, I don't think that makes any difference, though. Ugh. I'm wasting so much time hitting my head. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, we can get into these areas, but that doesn't mean they're all easy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really, really, really precise movement, basically. Also, I think I want to be going the right way to begin with so that I have more time to work with. So I stand over here. It's 
kind of annoying that you can't use the D-pad for this. It's completely digital control left and right, but you have to use the analog stick anyway. Ugh. Can you like smaller jumps? A little bit. If you just tap the button, you do jump a little bit lower, but not that much lower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, okay. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, so close. So yeah, as you can expect, this would not be hard with regular Mario 2D physics, but with crouching Mario 2D physics, it's very, very hard. <laughs> not as hard as that skip I was trying to do. Ah, oh, one note. I was so close. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that ceiling there is slowing down my movement. Because oh. you hit your head and then you lose some momentum, basically. <sighs> it was much worse than before. Oh my gosh, I am amazed that I can get in here at all. Jeez, I, honestly, honestly, I had no idea it was even possible. Like, I tried all sorts of different timings, but I hadn't quite clicked on when the right timing was. Oh gosh, this, this is almost a 30 minute video and I'm still trying to get this one moon. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like really important to get a note with every jump to make sure I get as many as possible. So yeah, this is not about whether the game makes it possible or not to do, it's just whether I can do it fast enough. Uh, so, this is not something that I can just uncrouch for, like it being impossible into the pipes at all, which it isn't, it turns out. It's got to be really, really, really fast and precise and that sort of thing. Ah, oh, two notes short. so sweaty. <laughs> this is disgusting. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, just wait down here for the notes to come back. The treble clap to come back, I guess. close. I don't know if holding Y actually affects your movement at all. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, you can skid a little bit forward. See? 
but you can't skid backwards. Interesting. So maybe the right way to do this is to face the other way so I can skid into these more easily. See, I'm holding Y now, and that seems to affect my jumping physics a little bit. And I think that's how you do that little skid, which I think is probably very helpful. <laughs> Hang on, let me just see. I oh, know it always happens. It's not holding wire that does it. It's just if the way you're facing, you can skid a little bit by holding the stick as you hit the ground, basically. I'm not sure if facing left or right would make it easier. Skid is slowing me down because I'm trying to use it more than it actually gives you, basically. Yeah, when you jump forward, you slide forward once you've done once you're done jumping, which doesn't happen when you jump backwards. Okay, I think I need to face the other way by the looks of things. Uh, I don't know how I can control that. Let me see. Because you head into the pipe facing straight ahead, obviously. Maybe if I hold to the right when I enter? Yeah, I think that's how you do it. But I've got to time the jump properly, obviously. Three. Hang on! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's not good. Two, three. Um, hmm. Two, three. No. I need to not press any direction. No. Okay, I have a bit of problem here. Um. Pew pew pew. Um. <laughs> um. Well, this isn't good. Two, three. One two three. Mm. I've lost the timing. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're facing the other way, which I think might make this easier. You do have to go both ways, but... Uh, I don't think that makes it easier. Maybe it does. It's hard to tell. Oh, that was terrible. Back, 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 back. <sighs> Okay, I think facing to the right is better because the last couple of notes are in that direction. That's my theory anyway. Let's see how we go. Yes! Yes! It's doable! It's possible! Yes! Oh my gosh! Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Oh my gosh, this is a game changer. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright. So we're just going to head back to Tost Arena, and I'm going to call out a video because it's 30 minutes. Oh. And although we only got a couple of moons, we made a shocking and incredible discovery. <laughs> oh my gosh. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back to Tostarina. And that's gonna be the video. Um, it may well be that that moon we were waiting for it to grow might have grown by now. So I might just grab that if it's grown. If not, we won't do that yet. But if we have, we, we will. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, just uh, wait for this little spinner to spin, it's little spinner. Shouldn't have skipped the loading cutscene by the looks of things. Alright, so... Here we are in Tost Arena. And yeah, we're actually up to a different story moon this time. Which is over there with the Moais. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Um, okay, wait. Not every moon is possible because we still can't get moons that need you to start a cutscene like the one in there. Uh, but we can get all the moons that required you to go into 2D, which is massive. Um, I'm just going to go back here and just quickly grab... Yeah, it has grown. See? See how it's sort of sparkling now? Yeah, that means you can break it open and get the moon out. There we go. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Okay, so... This was quite a video. Um... Next time... We do Tostarina's story! Did not expect to be saying that in this run. Honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, thanks for watching and freaking out like I did. Assuming you freaked out like I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some of these. There we go. Oh, thanks for watching. See you next.